Hey guys, welcome back to Bristow Daily Homes. Ryan here again. Hope everybody's having a great week so far. We've only got uh, one house to review today. Before we dive into that, yesterday was the big Federal Reserve meeting um, where they decided to taper or pull back their purchases of mortgage-backed securities and treasuries. So what does that mean? That means that we're probably more than likely going to have rising mortgage interest rates. We've been discussing this over the last few weeks about the implications of the Fed making this move. Um, they finally made that move. Um, yesterday, we probably lost anywhere from an eighth to a quarter of a percentage point in interest rates. Um, we will have to watch this trend to see if it continues to move higher. Um, I would have thought that there might have been a bigger sell-off than what there actually was. So I think that we just need to watch the trends moving forward. Um, most of the markets were not predicting them pulling back or tapering their purchases of mortgage-backed securities this month. They were thinking it might have been January or February, which is why I think the Fed, they don't want to be seen as predictable, and they made that move. Um, so moving forward, though, it looks like we could have rising mortgage interest rates, which always puts down, a little bit of downward pressure on home prices, as well as the actual um, affordability levels for people that are trying to get qualified for mortgages. So something that we definitely need to be cognizant of and pay attention. Um, like I said, I always have my finger on the pulse of the market, what's going on with mortgage interest rates, so I can always you know, let you know um, as to you know what I think is happening and, and, and at what time. I know many people are probably not thinking about moving right now during the holidays, but potentially in the spring. These are always things you need to pay attention to because you know a quarter and interest rate can mean a lot. Um, it could be the difference between you know maybe qualifying for five hundred thousand versus four hundred eighty thousand, just depending upon your circumstances. Um, so, like I said, if you have any questions regarding anything um, regarding interest rates, the Fed, uh, and you know what your potential plans are in the future, and you just like to kind of discuss that and figure out where you're going to be or where you want to be, I'd be glad to sit down with you. You can always reach out to us 703-596-0011 or on the website at bristodailyhomes.com. Now to today's listing, 11752 Alexander Hayes Road. This is a detached uh, center hall colonial located in the New Bristow Village subdivision. Listed at 479900 four bedrooms, three and a half baths, just over an eighth of an acre. It's a good sized home, about 4,586 square feet total, 3336 on the main two levels. As you can see, it's got some nice curb appeal here. Um, as you'll hear me talk about these listings in New Bristol Village, the majority of them are very small lots, very narrow and deep. Um, the garage is on the back side of this house, the two-car garage. We've got wood floors and granite countertops, pretty open floor plan. As you can see here, some uh, probably mid-grade cabinets, black appliances, which flows from the kitchen through to the family room area. It's the front door all the way through there. Here's the front door you walk through. You got your dining room to the left, and you got your living room area to the right, or if you wanted to use that as an office. A carpet that goes upstairs pretty much throughout. This is the master bedroom, which is huge. I know many people see these master bedrooms. It looks like a football field, and they try to figure out what they would do with all this space. Uh, you make one area as your sitting area, another um, room as your, you know, your actual bedroom. There's the master bathroom. So as you can see, this is a huge room, and here's the master bathroom, a separate uh, tub right there, and shower, washer and dryer. Here's the basement area. So, you know, I mean, overall, this is a decent house. And I mean, I think at the price, $480,000, we have had things that have been settling higher than that with less square footage. Um, we've got some under contract, 525 We don't know what they're going to settle at. This is a short sale of 450 You don't put much stock into that. Then you have this one that sold at 480 um, which didn't have as much square footage, so it was listed at 488, settled at 480. So I think that this price at 479 is pretty much right on the button. There's some things that have sold higher even. Um, this one sold for 500, similar square footage. And this one is uh, sold at 460. This one sold for 555, which is a little bit bigger. Um, but I think that they're priced right in the middle, right where they probably should be. Um, and I think it's a good option for somebody that's looking for a, a decent amount of space um, it's got some of the upgrades obviously you can throw some paint in here um, and it would you know definitely change the look if you'd like to take a look um, at this home or any of the ones we've reviewed over the last couple days reach out to us 703-596-0011 or as always hit us up on the website at bristodailyhomes.com have a fantastic day we'll be talking to you tomorrow